everyone. I hope everyone is fabulous. I mean, let y'all know I'm here. That would be a good thing, right? I'll send out nan -na -na. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. Bum 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 Is everyone doing wonderful? I am doing fantastic. I don't know about you, darling, but I am doing just great, lovey. I'm just sending out random invites. Everybody says they never get a notification. So now I'm just like clicking everywhere like a mad person. It's crazy. Hey everyone, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I hope everyone is fabulous. We's gonna have fun tonight. I promised you we had fun last night, didn't we? Last night was crazy. Crazy. What's up, guys? Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Jen. Hey, Heather. What's up, guys? I hope all of you are doing lovely. So, last night was hilarious. I was... Crazy. The tacking method was fun. My hands are exhausted. <laughs> My hands are tired. Very, very tired. That was a lot of rubbing. I was not expecting all of that rubbing. I haven't needed to do that in a while. E F G do 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 do. Boom boom boom. And I've got. Why does everybody send me a message when I'm busy? Y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Coretta. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Linda. Okay. So, tonight, oh, Linda, it gets, it gets better and better and better. It's okay, Casey. I went a few minutes early. I tried to be kind to our East Coast friends. So it was a little early. I jumped the gun. Hey, Charity. But I wanted to get started, okay? Hey, Valerie. I wanted to get this sucker going. So yesterday we did the Tacket Method on our 30 ounce skinny. And I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see the sparkle. So it was not a holographic glitter that we use and I know I got a dimple right there blah but I can fix it I'm not worried about that part but it was not you're sweet for everyone oh hey Casey thank you it was not a super holographic glitter so we added um what was it you make it easy I think it's called from love your sparkle too yeah that's what it was and it came out really pretty. It's so pretty. Anyway, we're going to adhere our tattoos to it tonight. And I've got... We're going to work on the Beetlejuice Cup. I know everybody was excited for the Beetlejuice Cup. Hey, Sandy. So, we're going to work on this baby right here. I go to bed early because I have therapy in the morning. So my honeycomb, I did the second layer of epoxy, came out bumpy, did another layer, keep fingers crossed. Yeah, Linda, you can always sand and then re-epoxy again and see if that uh, makes sure it's not lumpy before we do the, um, the decals on it. I'm going to be cutting the honeycombs tonight and um, adhering them. And then uh, I should get the alcohol ink any day now to start it. Hey, Sue. I also, you guys, where's it at? Ooh, got a beer stein for us to play with. Um, Matt picked it up this morning when he went to Walmart. He uh, was looking for the 20 ounces. They didn't have any, but he's like, oh, babe, they have a beer stein. What can you do with this? And I'm like, 
Uh, I can do a lot with it. Thank you very much. Hey, Ivelisse. Oh, I remember. Hey, Sue. So, um, I will prep this and I'm go we'll do a beer stein tutorial. How's that, you guys? I'll prep this and then, I don't know, what's today? Maybe like Sunday, we'll do, we'll do a beer stein cup. You have to send first for the honeycomb so I can cut mine also. Oh, the files, Linda. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Tina. I'm going to make this look like beer. So this will, it'll have white up here for foam. I might even do um, a white drip. And then uh, it'll be inked all yellow and look like a beer. And it's not for an order or anything. I just wanted to play. Yeah, Linda, I hopefully we get them soon so we can get our cubs going, right? Wednesday. It's Wednesday, Bonnie. See, girl, I can't keep my freaking days together. Quarantine just has, everything is blur. Everything is just one extremely long day. Hey, Jennifer. How are you, beautiful? I'm fabulous. You didn't get one? I don't know why they're not coming in and out, Jess. Some people get them, some people don't. I don't know. Hey, Angela, what's up? Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you something, too. Um, I thought I turned my phone, like, on silent. Hold on. Now it's on silent. Because I can't stand when, like, the phone is going when you're trying to watch something, you know, and somebody's phone is going off a million miles an hour. It's so distracting. Mine will be here Monday. I have to check the tracking, Linda. Mine should be here hopefully by Friday. I don't know. It just depends. Today's candidate, candidate here. Hey, candidate, da, da, Here, so it has me messed up. Oh, it's like the movie Groundhog's Day. Yes, Lisa. I'm just like living the day, same day, over and over. The only thing is, it's all different cups. So let me show you the Harry Potter cup. Um, I did do the glitter pieces on it last night. So we finished the, whatever this is called, the words. We finished the word, the words. We finished the book pages. Okay. You know what I meant. Mom, you know what I meant. What? You saw that hammer that crushes with the thing. Like you crushed it up with it. The mallet? Yeah. Why? Like the, the one that's going to make something. With a mallet? Yeah, where you crush it. I was going to use it to crush the ice. Oh, you're going to use it to crush ice? I don't know. Look in Dad's soul box. Not a mallet. The one for the... No. Oh, for the meat. The meat tenderizer? It should be in one of the drawers. Sorry, guys. I watched The Witches on Netflix today. Sweet. Yes, Vicky, I did. I will take care of it when this is over. That's my bad. It's been a long day. Like, I got up late, you guys. We went and took the kids to get fireworks. So, you know how it is. Don't matter, because what you do here at night, I do the next day. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to show you that I did finish the um, some of the details on the Harry Potter cup. Um, we did the burning of the pages and adhered them yesterday. And then I took all the pretty little glitter shapes and kind of scattered them around here. And then I will decal it um, tonight. I will print off. And I love how holographic the, the shapes are. So you really don't, they don't disappear on that glitter. I even got some on the bottom. Not a whole lot because you know I always have a surprise for the bottom. And my hearing just went out in my ear. What's up Jason? I just went like totally deaf in this ear. I have terrible tinnitus. You don't epoxy in the house? That's good Linda. If you, have a, if you don't have a big enough space for ventilation in your house, definitely do it outside. You don't want anything building up in your face. Okay, so I don't know if you guys, we talked about doing beach tumblers. Now I have a order for four of them. Two are going to be glitter, two are non-glitter. I know, right? It does not feel like the 4th of July is coming. This year is just, it's flying by and then at the same time it is dragging. So we're going to do two glitter beach tumblers soon when I get the cups in and two non-glitter. Two and two make four. 
so four total and two are glitter two are non-glitter so i went and bought um online and we wanted to do a sunset beach right i did write these tutorials all down somewhere don't ask me to remember where it is right now because i don't no not because of ventilation because i made a mess with it dripping oh yeah, you'll get epoxy everywhere. You get glitter everywhere, epoxy everywhere, paint everywhere. It's a mess. My son will get to see his Harry Potter cup on Sunday at his party. Yay! Oh! Party, party, party. I can't wait. You gotta send me a video, Jennifer. Her son was the one for the Harry Potter sippy cup, you guys. So I'm really excited to see him get that. So I will use the paints for... I might do a glitter beach and I might do a non. I want to touch base on different kinds of cups, different ways. Hey, Daenerys, for all of us to, to use. So, for guy cups and for girls that aren't all into sparkles. So, I did get all of these paints on Amazon. And it's just a pack of acrylic paints. I think it was like 20 bucks. It's got all kinds of colors. So, I mean, you could use, you could totally use these on a cup. And I thought, oh, these are pretty. They're bright. And I bought it online. I did not have to go in a store for it. Fabulous. So we're going to do the tattoo. Mm. Let me get my rag. My rug. My wash rag. Like my Aunt Mary says, my wash rag. I don't know where in the world she said wash from. I said wash rag. Wash no, wash rag. The hell is a wash rag? Worcestershire sauce? Okay, guys. Take our tacket cup. We're going to lay it down. I have a container of water over here. Now, temporary tattoos are similar to water slides in the fact that they have to be wet. Right. What is it? It's good. What is it? It's cool aid aid. Cool aid aid aid? Sorry, you guys. It's good. You didn't put my tea in here, did you? Y'all, my 14-year-old just had a, handed me a glass, and he said, it's cool, aid, aid. And I'm wary. <coughs> what is that mixed with? Sprite. Oh. I was not expecting carbonation. Good. Try more. I got Right. That's pretty good. You can have it. I don't want it. Oh, I you, mean, it's like pretty it. good. You can have it. I don't want it. Here, put it in the fridge. I got I my coffee. Wanna, I don't want to drink coffee. Y'all. Hey, Shell. You are more than welcome. Y'all. Like, you wouldn't think when a teenager comes here, Mom, have a drink. When they never give you anything, try this. No. Come put it in the fridge. I don't need it right now. Y'all, he didn't like it, so he gave it to me. I do like it. I don't drink that food. Why? I ain't got cooties. Child, I gave birth to you. I don't want to drink after you. He's so weird. I ain't got cooties. Well, I know cooties aren't real, Nick. That's like I got cooties. He came out of the cootie tell me girl I'm always drinking coffee mm-hmm you know it I gotta have my coffee it can be two o'clock in the morning and I got coffee in my cup that's just who I am don't judge okay cup is nice and clean you want a clean surface you don't want it all mishy mashy now I don't Recommend adhering any decals straight to your tacket when you do the tacket method because if you have to pull it You have to move it if you screw it up in any sort of way you're pulling the glitter and the glue all off So before you decal your cup, okay I'm Telling you right now epoxy it once and then Put your decal on because if you screw it up, then you're not screwing up the glitter So always cover your bases you guys cover your bases he does sound just like his father okay guys so for the tacky cup 
we are doing the two temporary tattoos we picked out yesterday. I'm going to grow my stock of temporary tattoos. Excuse me. I really, really like how they look in the cut, especially the colorful ones, because there's such a variety of different kinds that you can do that you can play with. Um, once I get some of the inks I ordered and a sponge, we're going to play with watercolor backgrounds. Yay! Because I love watercolor backgrounds. So I want to do <clears throat> a watercolor background cup with inks, okay? And then put a temporary tattoo over it. You see what I'm saying? Not, and it'll be a really light color background. And then put, um, one of those black and white tattoos straight over it to give it a lot of depth, but still keep the tattoo popping out. Does that make sense? Hey Lisa, hey Elizabeth. So the two tattoos we chose to do are the koi fish. So the first one, and I had to make sure it wasn't upside down, is this fish, this koi fish, okay? And then the second one, now this one's cut out wonky, don't freak out. It's because it's part of one of like the, the sleeves, the sleeve tattoos so you could get like two you can get three tattoos out of one sleeve picture or you can use a, a long skinny like I did you don't technically have to use a skinny you can use whatever you want but I have a bunch of 30 ounce skinnies that I didn't know what to do with because my typical orders are for 20s so I figured we'll play with them and the tattoos because they're long work great so we're gonna play with this now for temporary tattoos, you want to leave the film. You get like this little, just like when we were kids, you guys, the same way you would adhere this to your skin is the same way you adhere it to your cup. Okay. It has this little film on it and you want to leave that little piece of film on until right before you stick it to your cup. Okay. Once you stick it down, it's done. It's like vinyl. Don't move it. Leave it alone. That's when you're going to wet it. That's when you're going to blot it down, get a good seal, and then you're going to pull off the back. Okay? So we will do, I'm going to do the big fish first. Because he was my, he or she, doesn't, you can't really tell. Hey, I see you changed your name, Gentara. Did I say that or is it Gentara? Gentara. I feel like I want to say Gentara. But I know your nickname at first was Mimi. Girl, I probably butchered the hell out of that. You can butcher my name too. Well, that's just like everyone thinks my name is Helen, but it's actually not. Shocker! It's not. Only my family knows my full legal name. And don't any of you say it. Okay. So, we're going to use this sucker first. I'm going to pull it. And once you pull the plastic off, you guys, you do not want to touch it. Okay? Make sure your surface is nice and clean and there's no gunk on it or nothing. Oh my god, I almost missed you. My clock stopped. Your clock stopped? You should just start, uh, get a sundial and tell you the time. Okay. I can look out the window. Oh, the sun's going down. It must almost be nine. So we're going to pull. See this little plastic? That's what you want to leave on your tattoo until you're ready to adhere it. Okay? Don't pull it off beforehand. Leave it alone. Like a scab. Leave it alone. Okay. And this will get like a stick to it. Let me make sure this crap is straight. I'm terrible if I stuck it on the cup and it wasn't even straight. <gasps> hey, Mitch. Okay. Now I'm going to press it, it's done. Whether or not this comes out good, we'll see. 
Yes, because a lot of people actually thought that that was my real name. Janitra. G. Genitra. Genitra. That's what I said, right? Hush name. Genitra. Okay. Tattoo is stuck. It's done. With <laughs> no. If you wanted to change it, it's too late now. Okay. Nice and stuck. We're going to take our water. My um, fancy smancy tap water. And my washcloth. I'm going to wet the washcloth. Wet the picture. Genitra. See, I knew I said it right. I wanted to put this flower on a cup I was making and got confused to put it in water like it was a water sign. It was it. It was a dead. Linda been there. Don't want it super soaking. And I'm just wetting it. <clears throat> I think I did that, Linda, when we were doing the Nightmare Before Christmas cup. I got confused because I was using water slides and temporary tattoos. And I stuck a couple of tattoos in the water. So it wasn't the first time. We all do boo-boos. We all make boo-boos, boo. -boos, boo. You didn't realize it for a few hours? Been there. We all make boo-boos, boo. -boos, boo. Hush, y'all. Kids are on one tonight. I swear. Just, and I'm making sure this is nice and wet. So when you pull, <laughs> Tina, you would. I don't want any lift anywhere from this tattoo. So I want it nice and wet, moist. You know how everybody like hates the word? Moist, moist. You guys, stop. <gasps> it's so birdie. You guys, freaking get the heck out of here. How stinking gorgeous is that? Come on, come on, that is gorgeous. That is so pretty.
add a little bit of a bubble. Just pull it, push any air out real soft like. You guys, this is so pretty. I'm in love with that. Now, I gotta see if this fish is gonna overlap with this fish. It may overlap like a smidge. I ordered some tattoos, water slide paper, and micas from Amazon. Never got the items. I got an email today. It says your items might have gotten lost. Amazon's pretty good, though. If it does get lost, about them resending your stuff. I mean, at least for me, like when I never got my water slide paper, they just resent me the same exact order. Because that has happened to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm so happy with this. Oh, my goodness. And it just has the, the white tacket background. Gives it just like this shimmer, you guys. It gives it this beautiful, really light shimmer. They said they couldn't send it. Girl, that's some BS. But what isn't these days? Am I right? Okay. So I should be okay. I just need to make sure I don't move it a whole lot. trim this just a little more So now we're going to do the other side. This is the other fish. I don't know what I'm going to do with this cup when I'm done. Because it wasn't really for an order or anything. It was just to do it. So sh question. Should we do the fish this way? Or this way? That other one's going down. So I'm thinking this one should go up. Right? Right? I think in the tattoo he was up, so we're going to go with up. So you're going to pull off the plastic. And we're going to lay this puppy flat. Check this side. Okay, it's okay. Okay. I just went with the way um, the tattoo was drawn. Well, it's up. Oh well. I went with the way the tattoo's drawn. He looked funky upside down.
Mandy, you're about to see me do it again. So I just stuck the other temporary tattoo on and we're gonna wet the washcloth. And I swipe down the middle first. And then I'm gonna roll it. Yeah, it'll still be cute. I don't want to mess up the tattoo right here, so I'm going to hold this at an angle. And I can already see it kind of coming off, but I like to make sure it gets really good and stuck. Is it easier than a water slide? Mm, I never have any issues, Mandy, with a water slide to begin with. Guys, look. Look at this. And the glitter underneath it gives him like a shimmer. You guys, stop. I'll let it dry overnight and then I'll epoxy this tomorrow. You guys, look how freaking pretty this is. Is that not just amazing? This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And like if you wanted, there's like, um, you could put cal uh, cal calligraphy on it. Like certain um, Japanese symbols or phrases in some of these empty spots. Or you can leave them. So like if a customer, customer wanted this, you could put their name on the bottom or like appear on the top. Or you could put... Um, I might get some other temporary tattoos of flowers like Japanese blossoms and put a couple on this cup. Did you spray it with something before the epoxy or just let it dry? Um, Maricela, so we did the tacket method on this yesterday and then I did seal the tacket method with a clear matte spray. And if you use a matte spray, don't freak out if it seems to dull the sparkle of your glitter. When you epoxy it after it's dry, you get the um, sparkle back. So then I epoxied it last night. And then, um, yeah, see, Stacy, you see what I'm thinking. I'll get some, um, or I might, you know what? I might print out a couple of cherry blossom water slides and put them in some of these blank areas. Just a couple, like here and there. Cherry blossoms. I think this is so pretty, you guys. I'm really happy with that. And the glitter underneath it, um, when you do temporary tattoos for colors, you don't, you don't want to put it on a dark glitter background because you don't want it to blend so much in that you lose the effect of your tattoos. Yeah, you could probably do them on curved cups, Veronica. I don't know how it would look with the the full the, like the longer pictures, but you could totally take the smaller ones like the half sleeves and do it. 
I still haven't tried the Tacket method. I've looked for the stuff at Michael's, but they never have it. I ordered the Tacket over and over, Mandy, on a glitter site. I think I got it from oh my glitter addiction. I think that's where I got the Tacket glue. Or you can get it on Amazon. Hey Shirley. But you guys, it has like this beautiful shimmer. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. See the little sparkle? It still gives just a sparkle underneath the tattoo. There you go. Now you can see it. See, you still get that shimmer from it. And it did not get overwhelmed underneath. Yeah, Mr. Nolas has it. Just like that. See how you see the glitter underneath it? Just like that, you guys. So we will probably, um, I'll probably make some water slides tonight for this of uh, cherry blossoms and put a couple in here. Um, you could also put uh, cal calligraphy. Blah, 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 blah. Calligraphy. You could put calligraphy on this too. If um, you had a customer who wanted something like that. Or even smaller koi fish, um, flowers, seaweed. You can make it a, like an under the sea type vibe. You could get more of like lotus blossoms. You could do lotus blossoms, not just cherry blossoms. You could do lotus uh, flowers. Uh, stuff like that. Just And this was just to play around with you guys. To do more... Um, I two techniques in one. So we did the, um, yeah, lotus flowers. Mm hmm Yeah, because it does have some on there already. So I might print some different lotus flowers on some water slide paper and put some, blend in the lines more and make this a, um, a full-fledged thing. Like I might even put some up in here around the line to connect these two pieces. And you don't have to do that. That It's just an idea. You guys could do something like this and do whatever you wanted. I will do another one like this, but for dragons, because I have two really cool, let me show you, two really cool dragons. So we'll have the koi fish and So I want to do one with the phoenix that I have. I have the skull from the fish too. I could probably cut some of these straight out and adhere them. I might do that. No, I think I like the water side. So anyway, sorry, I was brainstorming something. I have this really cool dragon. I have this dragon, and he's a monster. So I have this humongous dragon, and then I have this dragon. that I want to do. So I would probably only take the top part of this dragon and adhere it and then use this dragon on the other side. I think I'll check Amazon first and see what they have since husband has. Yeah, that's what I do, Mandy. I use Prime all the time. Because sometimes shipping just kills me. And then I want to do the Phoenix on another tacket method, I have a glitter that I think this would go really good against, but we'll see. I don't want to drown it out either. Okay, so that was the temporary tattoo. That came out amazing. The dragons remind me of Merlin. Yeah, I really like them. I got them too because my husband loves dragons and 
that kind of stuff. Well, not really. He doesn't love dragons. Thinks they're cool. Um, that kind of thing. So I just thought we need more designs out there, especially for guys. And I thought temporary tattoos are phenomenal for guy cups, you guys. And you really want to kind of go out of your comfort zone right now so you can get yourself out there. Um, show that you can really broaden your horizon on your styles, um, your themes, everything like that. Hey, Cindy. So um, that's definitely something you want to work. Now, I used a glitter tacket background on this. So I don't know if a guy would be okay using it with um, the glitter. But I think it just gave it a really nice effect. And I might just auction it off. We'll see after I finish. I'm going to put some um, lotus blossoms on this. But here you go, Cindy. This is what we just did. The temporary tattoo cup. With the fishies. I'm really happy with how that came out. Yeah, I'll probably put some lotus blossoms on it. So next we're going to do the Beetlejuice cup. Now, but see, that goes to show you guys, um, that was me stepping a little bit outside of my comfort zone and going more off of a... Um, a random design thought than anything else. Yeah, it would be good for a tattoo artist. I don't know any to tattoo artists to sell it to, though. <laughs> you know? Yes, get something going for examples. For Exactly like Stacy said. Yeah, you guys, with, um, you know, like how the Home Shopping Network does their Christmas in July where they start showing Christmas trees and all that? As that's going to be our busiest time of year, you definitely want to start making things not necessarily aimed just toward a Christmas theme, but different varieties that you can make to get out there. Wood grains, tattoos. Um, I love to do the movie themes, TV show themes, um, geos, geodes. Well, I'm not making a geode, but we all know why. All of those kinds of things to get out there to your customer base in time for shopping season because you don't want to weigh yourself down if you don't start advertising for the holidays until like a month before you're going to end up with a ton of holiday orders and then you're not going to get to enjoy the holiday so make sure you do them ahead of time and put a cap on it like an end date so that when the holiday does come you can enjoy it too and you're not rushing out orders and all of that kind of stuff okay so we are going to do the Beetlejuice cup next. Now, remember we did this in a white glitter and it ended up being kind of pointless. So when you're gonna do a glow in the dark background, don't really waste your time glittering it because even if it's an invisible powder, it's still gonna cover it. I'm working on an eight cup right now just for the heck of it. Oh, awesome. And that's great for Halloween, Mandy. That's kind of why I did Beetlejuice. Um, and I plan on doing a Hocus Pocus cup. Just stuff to kind of start advertising, showing people, hey, you can get this for this time of year and this for that time of year. All of that juicy stuff. I do plan on doing a Hocus Pocus cup, though. Walk into a tattoo shop with it. Show it off. They may have their own artwork done on them. That's not a bad idea at all, Stacy. but I ain't walking in nowhere, no how. <laughs> Now, with Corona out there, with coronavirus, I ain't getting no coronavirus. No, no. But that's a good idea when everything is back to normal to do. And, uh, I mean, I don't know a tattoo artist, but I think that's phenomenal. Thank you for the advice. New to selling my crafts, and I was wondering if it was too early to think about Christmas. Ivelisse, in this, in this um, business, it is never too early to think about the holidays because that is our busiest time. Um, so you definitely wanna get a jump, a jump ahead. And some people are like, oh girl, it's too, it's too early to think about Christmas. It's too early to think about this. I love thinking about the holidays because right now, this year has been such crap 
for everyone with everything, the holidays just bring like a, a joy, you know? I mean, it, it just brings like a happiness to people. And so your craft and showing these things can bring that and put a smile on people's faces. Go on a tattoo convention page and put it up. Oh, I didn't think about that, Mandy. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. But yeah, you know, that's another thing. Speaking of tattoos, you guys, you don't, if you know a tattoo artist, I know there's tattoo printer paper where we could print our own temporary tattoos. But listen to this. If we could get um, a temporary, a, a tattoo artist to do their own drawings on a temporary tattoo paper and then you could adhere it to the cup for them, that would be a great way to advertise for that shop and get you some business in that section of the world too. Because there's tons of tattoo artists out there that they you could put their pictures, their popular tattoos or whatever they do on a cup and really get it out there. I'm getting ready to open my Christmas layaway plan. Oh, that's smart, Stacy. And you know, I guess you guys could do that with cups too. Do a layaway plan. Um, especially with how tight money is right now, if people want to order a cup from you, say for Christmas, um, for a Christmas present or a late birthday present, let them do things like that. Now, I would recommend do not start your cup until it is fully paid for in that sense. You could have a cup prepped and waiting and then when it's paid off, start the cup. So you are not stuck with a cup that never ends up getting paid for. Please, please don't do that because that happens to so many people and I don't want that to happen to you. Request money up front, at least half, if not in full, and don't start the cup until it's paid, okay? Yeah, it would be awesome, Mandy. I think that would be great. I don't know anyone in San Antonio here that does that, but I thought it was a phenomenal idea. It, it's just like you guys... Um, Make cups for people who already have a really big clientele, especially starting out. Because if they have, say, your hairdresser, realtors, um, people who are already really out there in your community, have a big customer base of their own, it gets your stuff out there. If they're walking around their shop with your cup and they can, um, their customers, oh, that's beautiful. Where'd you get that? Who made that? They can advertise for you right there. You could say, hey, if I make you a free cup, would you advertise for me? That's going to bring you tons of business and just draw people in. And that's awesome. I didn't know you were in San Antonio. Yeah, I'm in San Antonio. Or have them draw it on paper and scan it and then PNG for it. Yes, Stacy. Yeah, if you guys know really good artists, you could totally do something like that. I do $10 non-refundable deposit and I don't start until paid in full and have to be paid in full by November 1st. See, that's smart, Stacy. yeah. And there's just so many people that are starting to make cups and even if it, it sounds weird, you guys, but even if it's friends and family, it's hard mixing business with pleasure. And this, you are trying to make a business out of this. So please always as an effort for you to protect yourself and your starting up business don't do anything until it's paid for how do we go about pricing I'm really struggling with this so Chantel pricing is going to be your biggest competition point it really is now I definitely would not say underprice yourself because this is one not a cheap thing to do no craft is a cheap um, a cheap thing to do and you want to get paid for your time your supplies you have to factor all of that in now most people typically do a dollar an ounce plus five or plus ten that is a typical range to start out in pricing if you are just starting I would just start making some cups to get used to the fact trying new things before I would necessarily jump out and start selling don't start advertising yourself that you do this until you are ready because it grows really, really fast and you can sometimes be way in over your head before you even start. So really start making some cups, give them to friends, give them to family, give them to people you know that can get your name out there for you. Word of mouth is your biggest benefit right now. 
especially um, on online is really helpful. Um, I used to recommend before, of course, Corona, taking your cups out there with you in public and letting people see your work in your hand. And, you know, it's just like when you're wearing a shirt. Oh, I like your shirt or, oh, I like your purse. People are going to go, oh, I love your cup. Where did you get that? I made it. Opening conversation thing right there to bring you business. So that is basically what I would suggest doing. Um, I was wondering why that was pink. Sorry, I thought my eyes were crazy. Yes, and it is based on what you're what you're making, um, the the time and the effort it takes to make your product. If you are doing a very complicated design, um, that costs more because it's more time, it's more material. If it's like a basic one glitter name and everything, you can do basic price. Yeah. So all of that is, that's going to be your biggest, your biggest point. So let's get to Beetlejuice, you guys. Totally off topic. Let's do Beetlejuice. Now, I've been debating this. Uh, should we do black glitter stripes, like with double-sided tape, or just straight black vinyl stripes? That is my dilemma. It is really hard to do stripes on a cup that is warped, that is wider on the top and thinner on the bottom. Stripes are a lot easier on fatties and skinnies because they are one, one shape all the way around. I'm new to this and I have made cups and just to make them and try new techniques and I do have a business. Ooh, where'd it go? A business page, but no one has ordered one. But I'm not phased by it because I know my work will get better and people will see that. Don't let anything get you down. Look at the past photos and the recent ones. You'll notice a difference and see that you're on the right track. Exactly, Gabby. I charge now. I charge more for a peekaboo. The more simple. Yeah. It's all about how much time. And I mean, that really, you guys, it's going to be your biggest... Your biggest jumping off point is what you want to charge. But definitely don't undersell yourself. Don't undersell your time. I would not suge suggest going crazy with prices, but don't undersell yourself. Don't undersell your work. Don't undersell your time because it's time away from your family, your kids, your spouse um, that you're never going to get back. So make sure it's worth it. Okay. So what does everyone think about the stripes? Should we do black vinyl or black glitter? I'm thinking black glitter. I did lose most of the white glitter and I was kind of disappointed in that. And I don't know why it turned black up here at the rim, but I'll end up cleaning all of that off anyway. What do you guys think? Black glitter or black vinyl? I couldn't decide. Let me see, where's my tape at? <laughs> glitter 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 i know i love glitter um mandy this we're gonna do the black stripes this glows in the dark then we're gonna do black glitter stripes that got voted in real fast so we'll do black glitter stripes and then we're gonna do beetlejuice decals Ooh, excuse me that I've been working with um, online. Uh, they're not going to be your typical Beetlejuice decals. There isn't a whole lot to choose from. So I will use some movie scene um, ones from Printable Vinyl. So it'll be kind of like my other ones where it's a movie theme. I will have some of the typical Beetlejuice decals and then others like the Book of the Dead, Beetlejuice of course, um, Lydia, the Dietzes, um, Gina Davis, and Alec Baldwin on there. I forgot what their names were in the movie. So we'll do glitter. What a while I'm yawning. Let me find the black I want to use. 
I have a very specific black. And I will probably use my little glitter shapes around it. Just a little bit of the widows and the bats. Not necessarily pumpkins because I don't need a pumpkin. I know I should have got it out. But honestly, I thought you guys would all just kind of say, oh, that glitter is open. Why is that open? That'd have been a big mess. Good thing I saw that. I have a very good go-to black, but I gotta find it. Probably in the other drawer. Bear with me. I do plan on doing something about all my glitter when I don't know. have that, but that's not what I'm looking for. Mm, no, that's not legal juice. That one goes matte under epoxy. I wanted something with a pure black sparkle, so it took me a minute to find it. Chimp. I got the pack of pastel colors from Glitter Chimp and I'm in love. Oh, I know. I got my double-sided tape from Mr. No Less. Dawn, I feel like glitter would be a bit more forgiving than the vinyl when it comes to the stripes since the cup is a bit curved. Yeah, I think so too, Mandy. Yeah, definitely the man with the shrunken head, Mom. I don't know, Thomas. It may, it may not. We shall see. I do not divulge any secrets. This may be PG, this may be PG-13, this may be rated R, we'll see. Okay. So, it was a toss-up between Deep Space and Texas Oil, but I want a pure black sparkle, so we're going with Texas Oil. This is from Glitter Chimp. You guys know I have several go-tos among our amazing sponsors in here. I'm a Glitter Chimp addict. I'm addicted to Southern Sassy, Glitter Chimp, and Love Your Sparkle too. They probably have really great um, blacks, too, that you guys can use the group discount codes with. So those are great. This is just kind of my go-to black right now. I haven't had a whole lot of excuses to use it, but it's got a pure black sparkle to it. Very funny, Mom. I'm trying to get more organized. Everything's growing too fast. I can't keep up. 
So, Texas Oil has a pure black sparkle, and then Deep Space Chunky is holographic. So, it has a, like a rainbow sparkle to it, which I really love, but it's not what I want for Beetlejuice. You know, I want, I want a pure black. Um, we're not going to do a ton of stripes. I'm not quite sure how far apart the stripes are, so we're going to wing it. This is one inch tape, so we will do one inch stripes around the cup, okay? Double sided tape is always a hit or miss, and most of the time for me, it's a freaking miss. So you want to make sure your cup is completely straight, first and foremost. My dog is snoring. Where do you, where do you get orange? Orange? What do you mean, Joanne? That's not straight. Do yourself a favor, wrap a measuring tape around the cup to see if you can do one in all. I can do that, but I don't want to do that. I know what I'm doing, darn it. Just trust me. Trust me. Trust in me. Trust in me. Close your eyes. And that's Jungle Book. I haven't even messed with glitter yet. And it's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is not perfect. Threw the cup across the room. Thanks, Heather. I about did that when I tried to tape the whole thing. I'm not taping the whole cup. Now I'm just worried about it being straight. Okay. So that's about how far apart I want them. 1.75.
I know you're just trying to help. It's okay. Relax. What orange glitter, Joanne? For what? Oh, on the Golden Girls. Uh, crap. It was from Southern Sassy. Stacy, what's that orange called again? Crap. I can't remember. I think St if Stacy's still here, she knows. If not, I'll look, Joanne. I'll look later for you, hon. You have the same scissors, Thomas? How funny. Scootaloo. It might have been. It might have been Scootaloo, Stace. It might have been. Of course you need orange for Chucky. Screw Chucky.
This one's not long enough. Damn it. Hey, Helena. I remember because of my little pony name's the rainbow. Ha ha! Chunky, yeah. I'm here just rhinestoning my cup still. See, that takes a whole lot of patience. That I just don't have. Oh, um, I finally finished mine with the lid yesterday, giving it until tomorrow for the glue to dry to wash and clean it. Sweet. Okay, guys. Now, this is tape. Now, remember, the cup is tapered, so it doesn't look right. Because that's how it always feels to me. This one is cockeyed. Chucky orange. Screw Chucky. I don't do Chucky. So now I'm going to do the tape across the bottom and not overlap it. last time, Joanne, didn't I? I'll show you guys in just a second what I did. Hers comes in bags, Joanne. Okay, so we have the stripes all connected all the way around. Now, let me... Get my glitter catcher. Yeah, it is. 
Hers comes in bags, Joanne. with white. Joanne, sorry I was ignoring you. Dealing with dear old dad. He's been like energy battery bunny for the last 24 hours. Yeah, I know. Poor Jason. It was, Joanne. Oh my god. I want to chuck that darn thing across the room. I still do. Every time I look at it, I just want to yeet that hell out of here. Just yeet it across the room. So I will use um, the spiders and um, the dingbats around the Beetlejuice cup. Not pumpkins, because Beetlejuice and pumpkins, mm, no. What did your cup look like? Which one, Heather? Okay. So now the tape is on. So we're going to pull the tape. We'll dump the glitter all over in one false swoop. And pray. And I mean, even if this cup turns out like doo doo, it's not for anyone, so there's always that. That's the only thing with double-sided tape, you guys. I feel like it doesn't get like a good a good shade. This probably should have been black underneath. But if I don't like the way it turns out, I can uh Either Mod Podge over it or throw up the vinyl. It doesn't matter. Good thing I have a washcloth over here. Where's my brush? doesn't look terrible you guys see I mean and it's it looks cockeyed because the cup is warped hey Brandy well at least you made it Nikki better late than never right Hey Brandy, Brandy and Randy. We're working on another hot mess. We're working on Beetlejuice. I'll show you the the tattoo cup in a minute. At least that one came out decent.
see if I can make the glitter a little darker if I rub it. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh no. There's two. No, they're not perfect. Beetlejuice isn't perfect, though. Let me put the um, glare back in the bottle. Sandy, don't lie to me. <laughs> oh, y'all just talking about random stuff. Okay. I honestly don't think it's too bad. Considering the the cup is warped and the tape is not. Hey Brenda. Tom is over there probably yelling at me. Woman! You should have measured. Every man, you should have measured first. Well, I'm like, when it comes to measuring, I'm like men in directions. I ain't asking. I'm going to guesstimate and get going, okay? You don't want to ask for directions. I don't want to measure. Okay? Stay in your lane, boo. I mean, right? Did you measure that? No, I guesstimated. What is guesstimated? Uh, I guesstimated that. <laughs> it ain't straight. And neither was Tiger King. And everybody loved him. That's how I cook, Liv. I'm gonna like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my guess game.
It's not going to move. I think my dog was a cat in a past life. I felt like I needed to be productive watching your live, so I epoxied my it cup. Go for it, Mandy. I'm glad I inspire everyone to get their crap done. I'm over here making a hot mess. Everybody are like, ooh, let me get my stuff done, girl. And no, you probably ain't got to rub this in either, but I'm going to rub it in anyway. Because it makes me feel like I did something. And I didn't spray paint under the stripes black because I didn't know where I wanted them. Back off, Karen. Don't you come at me with nothing. It probably don't do nothing. I feel like it just makes it stick to any part of the tape that didn't get any glitter. Because double-sided tape, it, it it sticks the glitter. Don't get me wrong. It does. But it's not like... Um, it doesn't deepen the color or anything. So, whatever the underlayer is underneath... Is will it will show even like with this black glitter it shows see and then they're all about they're all guesstimated at about 1.75, okay? Guesstimated, meaning some are and some probably ain't. I'm too tired to work on a cup right now. It can wait till tomorrow. This is my relax to Helen. <laughs> I don't see anybody relaxes listening to me. My husband sure as hell don't. He'd be like, can you shut up? You're so loud. You're so loud. Put in some stinking headphones, man. I don't care. You knew I was loud when you married me. Get used to it, boo. Oh, man. What did I miss? You bought more glitter, Thomas. This is really her jailbird cup for stealing dipsticks. <laughs> Don't let her fool you with that beat. I know. It's my crybaby cup. Crybaby cry. Y'all seen that movie? I freaking love crybaby. little bit of layering so I fixed it just bought another crate from where are you buying cocaine or something Thomas it is a family thing Heather we all loud all my viewers know that I love that movie too De Niro high five little virtual high five 
get it, get it. There's just a little overlapping here and there with the tape. So unlike last time, we live and learn, guys. Live and learn. If you think you are perfect at everything, I can assure you, honey, you ain't. Oh, from them, Thomas? Yeah. You must have some dough, man. Always buying glitter. Just ordered the domino mold today. So excited for it to come. Yes! What would they do if we was all together? They would die laughing with our family. Yeah, they would. Thomas be buying up all the glitter. Ain't no shame in his glitter game. Oh, that's terrible, Joanne. I'm praying. Y'all, it's these people that don't think it's real. For real. Ugh, I can't stand the world anymore. Y'all, that little spot is going to bug the hell out of me. Might have to modge podge that. And that. I got it when he went to ER for count. Oh, sweet Nikki. Sweet Nikki. Okay, guys, what do you think? I'm spinning it fast so you don't see the cockeyed stripes. Woo. What do you think? I feel like some people put too many stripes. So I think this is a good number. Hey, Pam, 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 Pam. We did a tattoo cup and we did Beetlejuice. Perfect for the cells. I'm going to go hit up a bunch of cars when the fireworks are going off. <gasps> Knocked it. Ooh. Stay. Be like, why are the car alarms going off? Oh, from the fireworks. And I'm running around the neighborhood, like, carrying all these dipsticks. <laughs> Be like, mind your business, people. Mind your business. like that flasher in my neighborhood except I'm going to be stealing dipsticks. Do you have a cup you can show with that black 
with that black under epoxy. Thomas, actually, I have this black in a glitter sample. I'll look in that bag I have. I did a glitter, glitter sample of Texas oil under epoxy to show that it doesn't go matte under epoxy. Just give me a second. All right, just a second, let me see. Put this away. Okay. So let me see. Now, like I told you guys before, I have that heart mold. And every new glitter I get, I make a sample of it. So you can turn these uh, into anything you want. But for me, I'm eventually, I'm working on talking my husband into it. Getting me like a really tall Lazy Susan for the floor. Because I don't want to put glitter shelves on my wall. I don't want to turn the holes in the wall that I'm going to have to fill in one day whenever this is all done, said and done. So I'm going to get one of those tall like magazine style turners, like a Lazy Susan in that aspect, and um, spice racks and put all of my glitters on it like that. And then I'm going to adhere all my little samples underneath each bottle so I see what they look like for this. Night Bonnie. So I do have Texas oil under epoxy and I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. So see, it does sparkle under epoxy. It doesn't it doesn't go dull under epoxy it has a pure black sparkle to it and that's Texas oil from glitter gym but yeah it doesn't it doesn't go dull it doesn't go matte there are ones that um, you will get it's from glitter chimp Thomas Our sponsors have really great blacks too, but this particular black I used is from Glitter Chimp. Where do I get the heart mold? Um, I got the heart mold at Michael's. It's a candy mold. And you can make them as, you can make the hearts as thick or as thin as you want. Some of mine are um, thick, some of them are thin. It's a really great way to use the rest of your epoxy. But this, it like, it shows you what all of your glitters look like in epoxy so you're going to know if it's going to dull how it's going to sparkle all of that yes yeah you could use um a magnet board of samples that's right and i do have magnets for these i just have not done them and i don't have a board to put them on that's a good idea though stace and then i could just label them all See, like this one, this is actually a black glitter, believe it or not. 
This is a black glitter, but this one is Hijack from Glitter Chimp. And this one goes straight matte under epoxy. This one I got with the pencil pack. It has a couple of little other flakes of glitter in it, but this is actually a straight black glitter. That would be a cool. Yeah, T, most of the time I give um, keychains with my cups. I, uh, I make an initial keychain or straw topper um, for first time orders. They get a uh, initial keychain. So yeah, first time orders, um, you get a matching glitter keychain to whatever I use on your cup. show you guys so see like uh, here I do these with my cups so if you order a cup you'll get an initial keychain with whatever glitter is matching your your cup so like this one's night light I got some and I can't remember what this white is. I think it's called Blitz or Bling. See, I just do them like this. So I have a ton. Ooh, look at that one. That's Rain of Fire. I have a ton, different colors, different uh, initials. And I make them with any extra epoxy I have. And then they go with the cups. This one's super holographic. And then I have um, crosses too. Different colors of crosses. So you can choose um, an initial or you choose a cross. So I have both. Helen, do you have a vid up of you doing the molds with just glitter? I'm still learning. Liv, I know there is a tutorial where we threw some, where I made extra epoxy and we threw some glitter in a mold. All I do is, um, if I overmix epoxy, Liv, I'll take the, um, I'll take out my mold, I'll put it down. I will choose a glitter color that I want. So say if I have a cup and I want to use the black. I'll pour the black glitter into the epoxy and mix it together. You, typically I would say don't do that, but for molds that's what I do. So I mix it into the epoxy itself and then I pour it into the mold. You spritz the mold with alcohol before you put it in there because that, a lot of people say it helps with bubbles and stuff. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So you just pour it into the mold, spritz the top with um, alcohol. It brings any bubbles out of the epoxy. So you get a nice smooth finish. Because if you don't, or you can heat it in the mold, but you don't want to melt the, the silicone. So that, that's basically all I do for mold. I do the same thing with my straw toppers. I do the same thing with the hearts. But there is a couple of tutorials where I do, I do use the molds. I think I have several. But I guess I could make a video for straight molds, um, doing some molds, and we'll upload it to our to our YouTube. Your glitter sinks to the bottom. Make sure you put a... So what you can do too, Liv, if it sinks to the bottom, let it sit for a while, okay? Keep an eye on it. And then when you see it sinking to the bottom, take your glitter and sprinkle it on that back end so it sits on top. My straw molds come out matte looking. No shine or sparkle. You're afraid to use too much. It's okay, Liv. It just depends if you're... 
if you're using fine or chunky. Your straw toppers come out. Let me show you a couple of different ones. They're, they should stay sparkly. Let me see. So, like my pineapple, you still see a sparkle. It's not as much as it, I would say on a cup, but you should still get a really good sparkle to it. And then this one is just dots, but you do get a shine to it. It's my 4th of July rose. Use enough glitter in the epoxy to make it thick. Yes, like Nikki said, it'll get thick. Um, and that's how you know when you have a lot of glitter. But if you pour it in and say it's sunk to the bottom and I have like this clear top, you can sprinkle more in after it's after it has set and cover up that bo uh, that top again. See, now this one isn't super, super sparkly. It did go a little, um, but it does still sparkle some. I don't even have straws long enough to use it on yet. guys I think we covered it for tonight that one is gorgeous which one Danira you're welcome Liv anytime you have a question let me know and I'll answer it best I can let me know and if I don't know I'll find someone who does know because I don't know everything Okay, guys, so we did Beetlejuice. This will get um, a layer of an epo of epoxy. Oh, the red rose. That one is Sangria, I think it's called. Yeah, from Glitter Chimp. Oh, good, Heather. So this will get one layer of epoxy tonight. And then when I do the epoxy, I'm going to take some of my pieces, so my little bats, let me see if I can show you as it falls on the floor. So the little bats, I'll put a couple of little bats in the whites and, um, nice. And a couple of uh, spiders. So we'll do those ones. So I'll put epoxy on it. Now, like I said, with the black, it's not super 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 dark up close but if you wanted you could go through with Mod Podge and make it darker but it looks pretty good right now this does have a creamy texture to it that's from the glow powder so we will um, epoxy this I'll put some of the bats and the spiders on this I need to get a notebook and start writing all of these ideas down Denier anytime you want an idea girl hit me up those would be awesome. Yes, they would be awesome for a Batman cup. I mean, you guys can get shapes and use them for all kinds of stuff, especially movie themes, horror movie themes. Um, like I got these for a Nightmare Before Christmas cup. The Harry Potter shapes, the hats, you could still use for um, a witch's cup. You don't have to. Once you epoxy, it will also darken. Yeah, that's true, Nikki. It will. 
But, I mean, if you want it super dark, that was just one way you could go about it. What do I have the cup sitting on? This is a stand. Came with my turner. So, on this we will have um, movie, movie images. Similar to my other movie themes. Uh, for them to stand out. A lot of people do the cartoon images. A lot of people um, do drawings. I I typically like the mo the movie images the best. And I'll probably put a sandworm on the bottom. And I mean, look, it's not it's not perfect, but this is an art. It's not perfection. And this was guesstimating. And I think I did pretty darn good for a guesstimate. And then this was the Tacket method with the temporary tattoos. I'm going to print out some um, water slides, some lotus flowers, maybe a couple of cherry blossoms, and adhere them to this cup, you guys. So I will post the final picture later of how this turned out. I might even do some Japanese calligraphy. I'm not sure. I think it would be cute. Maybe just a couple, like, for peace, love, happiness. Um... As corny as it is, we need more of that right now. Uh, we will get the honeybee cup finished. Um, once I have the inks, uh, I'm going to print out the honeycombs tonight on removable vinyl. Removable vinyl. So 641, not 651. I'm going to stick them on there. We Then we will spray paint it. We will do the yellow all over it. Then pull... The honeycombs and then um, I'll decorate it Winnie the Pooh okay yeah it did come out really good Nikki right I'll probably put a lotus flower at the bottom but I'm super super happy with that the honeybee cup it's just glittered right now T and it's sanded, so I need to, uh, I'll probably epoxy it once more. Do you put your logo brand on your cups? No, Diana, I don't. You can. Typically, I would tell you, you should. Um, on the bottom of my cups, I like to have a little, uh, a pop, or I do something related, you know, to the design. I don't leave the bottoms blank but if you want to put your logo on the bottom of your cups you're fine I, ju I just don't will you be live while sticking on the removable vinyl if you want me to be Ashley I can how the Beetlejuice couple of... where'd you go Jesse you missed it I've learned so much from this group and had fun while learning. Thank you, everyone. I look forward to the tutorials. Awesome, Lisa. I'm glad. I mean, that's the whole reason we started the group is I just wanted to, I wanted to help everyone. And there's so many wonderful people out there that want to help too and get everyone to really enjoy, enjoy this. There's so much negativity out in the world right now that we need to just Spread loving kindness as much as we can. And I want everyone to find something they're good at. I want you to start this and know you have someone in your corner to help you anytime you need it. Okay, I want all of you to be confident and enjoy this and know it's okay to mess up. There are cups we're going to do that we are going to hate. We are going to have a hot mess and just want to throw it away. It's all fun. I, I want to make my tutorials fun and um, light and happy and everyone laugh and we just have a good time creating whether it turns out amazing or turns out like a stinking mess um, and also know that there's nothing you can't fix don't always just go oh I gotta strip it I gotta strip it there's always something we can fix let's go down those roads and explore them together uh, and see what we can do before we go okay there's there's nothing else I can do with this thing it just needs to go Okay, so anytime any of you need help, reach out to me. I am always here. The wonderful admins of this page are here. All of our wonderful members are here for you. With all the craziness in the world, this is my safe place. Well, I'm so glad you feel that way, Lisa, and I want all of you to feel that way, that this is one group 
you can come into and look at posts and look at pictures and know there's nothing but positivity here. There's nothing but love. Um, I do try to send um, post funny things to make everybody laugh and smile to cheer up your day, whether or not it's if you're having a crappy day, you can come in the group and you'll see something funny and you go, oh, or something warm, something letting you know that you are valued and appreciated. So please know that I love each and every one of you. And me and the admins in this group, we are all here for you guys. This is the only reason we do it. Um, we're being, bringing in great companies to bring you guys to help save you some money to get you all of the really great high quality things you want um, at the same time. And it helps support their small businesses, which I am all about right now. We need to um, help promote the smaller people out there and get their, get their name out there, get them some business, keep them thriving with how crazy the world is right now. Okay, so... All of you just stay positive. I enjoy your lives. They help so much. Aw, oh, thanks, Liv. I try. I mean, some of my lives were are a hot mess. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I am not perfect in any sense of that word. But I do, I do try my hardest. And there are things that we have worked together that I've never tried that I'm just like, okay, I'll jump in the water for everyone and we'll see how this goes. And then you can learn from my mistakes you can take what I do and go okay I want to do that but let me try this way and that's the great thing about crafting you can watch somebody do the same thing so many different people do the same thing and all of them do it differently all of them have cup visions of cups and designs all different and that's what I try to do I don't want to make um, anything that's an exact replica of somebody else's work I want to make it um, I want to make it my own and that's what I encourage all of you to do is make it your own make make it unique to you it brings your customer bases always back to yourself because I'm proud of y'all thanks Heather the hot mess lives are the best girl some of them are like PG 13 PG 14 <laughs> but I just you know it they're just fun I want everybody to have fun that is way better than the YouTube vids that make you everything look easy. You make me unafraid of things. Aw, oh, thanks, Liv. Yeah, and that's true. Sometimes some tutorials, they like fast forward through everything. I love your lives. Thank you. I'm usually silent, but I'm always here. Ashley, don't even worry about it. Hey, Kristen. And watching others also gives you ideas to create something new. Absolutely, Nikki. You can learn so much from so many wonderful people. And, you know, it's not always easy putting yourself out there. You know, I was really nervous putting myself out there for you guys. But the only reason I continue to do these things and the way it's grown has still utterly shocked me. But I do it because I love doing this. And right now, um, with this virus out there and us having to be quarantined inside, it's so hard for all of us to wrap our minds around the day and age that we're living in. And I think this is a great escape for, for you and for me and a way for us to relax and just go, go back to being happy for a little bit. Question, how do you keep the water slide from curling up when you put epoxy on? You are my water slide hero. Aw, oh, I can be your hero, baby. Ah, oh, Enrique Iglesias. Um... I let, are you making sure it dries overnight, Kristen? I've never been offended by anything you said in your lives. Well, that's good to know, Lisa. There's a plenty I don't say. <laughs> There's plenty I don't say. How bad is that? We love you, Helen. Oh, thanks, Nikki. I love all of you guys, too. I like the glow in the dark cup. Yeah, it's coming out great, Vicky. I'm really happy with it. We'll, we'll see if this uh, continues to go in a, in a good route. We shall see. Not everything always ends up fantastic, but I do try, and I do try to give my best to each and every one of you every night that I'm on. You can always get a hold of me. If you guys are having a hard day and sometimes you just need somewhere to vent, you're more than welcome to message me just to have an ear because sometimes we don't have trustworthy ears that we can lean on. So you can, you can lean on me. I'm here. I'm a great listener. Yes, it dries overnight. Wonder if I should use quick coat over it. You could, or even Kristen, you could try spray sealing it. Even though you do spray seal it before you adhere it, 
you could try um, sealing it to the cup with a clear spray and let that dry and then epoxy it and it might help with the lift. The only thing I wouldn't clear spray is vinyl. You don't have to seal vinyl. You could just try resealing it to the cup and that might help. Have you decided to make a cup for your local police department? No, I haven't. I wouldn't even know where to begin to do that, but that's a really good idea. It's hard for the little sister to get a hold of you. <laughs> Thank you. You have a beautiful heart. Oh, you're welcome, Kristen. I try. I just, I try to give my best to each and every one of you guys. Um, because I think we all need someone that we can, someone always needs someone else that they can count on and turn to. And especially with crafting, because some of us can lose our minds when we're doing something and it just does not want to work. And um, I'm definitely here for you for that. And sometimes if you just need a friend, if you just need an ear, I'm here. I screwed up another alcohol use world tonight. Vicky, I doubt it was that bad. I think some of you guys are way too hard on yourselves. Remember, it's art. It's not perfection. Yes. My admins, I have been blessed with making some wonderful friends. Sandy, Stason, Jason, Jason, or as we call him, Larry. Larry and Sandy and Stacy and Regina. They are all absolutely amazing. And this group is becoming what it is because of them. So it's a round of applause from all the way around. They are working all the time. I mean, running a group you would be, you would not think is a whole lot of work. It is a surprisingly amount of hard work. And it, it takes a lot of your time to make it right, to make it easy for you guys. Um, we, we do try to keep you guys safe. We watch who's coming in and who's coming out and keep an eye out for anyone that tries to use or abuse our members. So we're being pre pretty diligent on that. I use a brush like Helen and then a paper towel. Let's do a curl. I've done it twice. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Alcohol ink is tricky. I do have two, I have a one or two tutorials on alcohol inks. It's happening since I started using Plasti Dip. Oh, see, I don't use Plasti Dip, Kristen. I don't use Plasti Dip on my water slides. Yes, Stacy is always around to help too. She's a great admin. And she's a great glitter dealer who gives us discount. Oh, look at all this glitter on my hand. Blech. Covered in black glitter. I have had everything I need to make cups for weeks, but still haven't even attempted. My husband keeps asking if I'll ever do it. You just got to jump in, Ash. Ashley, just jump in. Uh, it can be overwhelming because you're you get excited and you want to do all of these things and then you're just like oh am i gonna be any good or am, am i gonna have issues or anything like that you just have to it's like swimming once you're in the water you realize it's not as bad as you thought and you're really gonna enjoy it Print on a laser water slide. Oh, okay. I print on a laser water slide. I don't have to seal, but I do spray with clear acrylic and then Plasti Dip to make it more sturdy because it used to always fold over. My color would get a crease line of white through it. I just plain suck it. I only use Plasti Dip if it's a full water slide going over the whole cup. It's only to make it flexible. Me too. I keep getting glitter and stuff, but I'm starting mine tomorrow. After a spray with plastic, if I spray again with acrylic so it doesn't repel the epoxy, I'm going to start mine today, but it's raining so hard. Repaint my cup. Well, I can't wait to see what you start, Danira. I can't wait. No, no. I can't wait to see what you guys make. I'm really excited. I'm always excited to see anything um, all of you go out and create, whether it's um, based off of a cup I've done or somebody else. It's you do you, boo. 
Oh, we're talking about Plasti Dip. When using Plasti Dip, alternate your layers with Rust-Oleum 2X Gloss Clear. It shouldn't roll. And if it does, the combo of the two prevent ripping, tearing, and cracking. See, I don't, I don't use any of that stuff on my water slides. I don't ever have any issues with my water slides, knock on wood. Well, this ain't real wood. Knock on that. The turner you're on. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to call it a night. Uh, I'm going to work on the vinyl for the Harry Potter cup. I will seal the Beetlejuice cup. And I'm going to cut out the honeycomb, the honeycomb pieces for the honeybee cup. Okay, and I'm going to let my tattoo dry overnight. My famous word, you do you, boo. For real. For real. That and mind your business. Mind your business. You do you. I use an inkjet seal and apply. Yeah, that's what I do, Nikki. I have an inkjet. I seal them and I apply them. That's what I'm going to do for the... The tattoo cup so we're going to I'm gonna print some lotus flowers and put it on there okay guys so we're gonna call it a night um, when I get the beach cups in we'll start the four beach cups we will finish the uh, the honeybee cup as soon as I get the inks in okay so as always you guys I had fun tonight it was kind of short sweet to the point we did two gorgeous cups, my dear. And then I will work on the Beetlejuice decals. Okay? I had to use Plasti Dip on a full 30 skinny wrap. Life changer. Nice, Stacy. Okay, guys. We're going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, I will be back. I don't know. What's tomorrow? Probably not tomorrow. We'll see. It is a it is a holiday weekend and my husband's going to be off. Nine jailbird. Shh. Don't be turning me in, Nikki. Darn it. It's supposed to be a secret. Shh. Secret. So, I hope, yes. And 4th of July is Saturday. Please, everyone, try not to go anywhere if you don't necessarily need to. You can, even with it being 4th of July, you can still get sick. So, stay home. Have fun with your family. Enjoy the fireworks. Go buy you some fireworks and do them at home. Barbecue. That's what I'm going to do. Spend time with my guys. Watch some ghost adventures. Do some fireworks. And all of that from the comfort of my home and my sweatpants. <laughs> and my sweatpants. So everyone, please, 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 please stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. If you need me, I'm here, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.